Hello and so welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Tay here, my bounty hunter, and where we last left off, we had just completed the bonus mission series on the world of Balmora that you can still see behind us. We also checked in with our handler, well, sorry, the assistant huntsmaster. To let them know that we had claimed our first bounty within the Great Hunt. We now should be on our way to the Smuggler's Moon of Nar Shaddaa. Before we do that, we're going to be doing a brief interlude part of the series. We're travelling back over to Viken Space Dock, the Imperial Fleet. I am tempted to do a black point, but instead, we're actually going to involve ourselves in the space missions. But before we do that, we need to go find a certain vendor. Space missions in Star Wars The Old Republic, apart from the Galactic Starfighter, which is some alternative PvP content, are kind of a on-the-rail shooter segment. And they have no... it's all optional content, but I may as well show it off. There are various missions, some of them look very similar to one another, but with an increased difficulty curve. We need to head over to the Galactic Trade Market section. Oh, do we have... Yeah, Swoop Gang Mayhem is taking place right now. Interesting. Unfortunately, I mean, we could... We could look into this weekly conquest but we would be jumping ahead to worlds we haven't even visited as a character ourselves unfortunately so we'll hold fire but it looks like we also are celebrating life day yeah festive season is here in star wars the old republic as well of course by the time this video is released that time will have elapsed. Um, right, we are heading over to... I think there's a vendor over here. We're looking for the Starship Upgrades vendor. So, can we have a look at our ship from here? Yes, perfect. Here is the D5 Mantis, of course. Without any upgrades, similar to when you equip armor or weapons, there are slots or accessory slots of differing types or categories. And there are different tiers of upgrades to, say, your ship armor. The default armor for the Mantis is 1800, but... See anything you like? We will be able to afford some higher tier upgrades. In fact, we are able to up grab the grade 5 upgrades here. Some of these upgrades are hidden behind your level, and some of them require a unique resource. For example here, the Proton Torpedo Tube needs us to be level 50, and it would cost us 50 fleet commendation. We did actually earn some fleet commendation from our daily login rewards. I think we have somewhere. 150 available to us. You can earn these by completing space missions. There are daily and weekly quests. So, let's see what we wish to purchase. We'll grab all the grade 5 upgrades. So this will increase our blaster damage. At the moment it's currently 30. Now it's 80. 
An increased rate of fire from four to nine shots per second. We can actually have an energy shield, which can absorb 500 damage. And we can actually regenerate this shield. We can increase our ship's armor, of course. And last but not least, we can increase the amount of missiles our ship's missile bay will hold. The default is 20. And this one will give us 120. These are the basic upgrades. We could grab the power conversion module. Probably worth holding off on that one. We could grab... Ah, I don't want to be spending my fleet commendations right now. There are some level 50, like tier 6 upgrades, but you can either purchase their schematics, you can purchase their, actually purchase them directly for a great deal of fleet commendations, or you could go to the Galactic Trade. Thank you. You could go to Come the Galactic again. Trade Market and actually buy the upgrades from other players who have actually uh, built them. So if we... This is actually the new Galactic Trade Market, the new auction house. God damn it. Um, do 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 search. We don't... How do we start from level 40 onwards? <laughs> yeah, so we're going to... For some of the more advanced or higher tier upgrades, we're going to have to be level 50. No matter. Everyone's throwing snowballs at one another. There's actually an event. Oh, here we are. Yeah, the... The Master of Ceremonies. There are actually are various, um... Rewards you can gain. If you have snow-covered parcels. How do you earn these parcels again? We can also grab the Life Day Armor. Make us look like a Nutcracker, because why not? So, how do we... <laughs> trying to remember how to participate. Okay, we can pick up the Life Day Snowball Bomb. Lob a Life Day Snowball Bomb at your target within 30 meters, which will explode in a cloud of snow. When you dust a target, you have a chance to discover a snow-covered parcel. Oh, whoops. So you'd have to uh, basically run around and hope that people aren't already hit by these uh, snowballs. Like you, for instance. Hey, we got a parcel. We need a lot of parcels. Holy crap. I think you can. Yeah, you can. you can remove them from your person. Ah, but there's a chance, which means it won't always be successful. Very well. 
I guess that's something I could do in my free time while I'm editing these videos. But let's get ourselves back over to the Mantis now. And let's look into these space missions, shall we? Hunter. Good. We need every ship we can get. The Republic grows bolder. Their attack squadrons ambush Imperial targets and disappear into open space. We're struggling to compete. Sounds like the Empire needs my help. Again. Correct. We're placing an open bounty on this Republic scum. I've scrambled the Cast 23rd and Dreadwing, but it's not enough. We're forming an exclusive response squadron. The Empire's Fury. According to your skill set, I'm nominating you for squadron leader. Care to help our fleet rout the Republic? If I'm representing the Imperial fleet, I think I deserve something extra. I'm authorized to dispense a generous signing bonus. Your call sign will be Scree. Uploading mission data to your ship now. You'll work alone while the rest of the squadron assists throughout the galaxy. Strike with fury. Strike for the Empire. Okay, and we get a tutorial space mission. The Jabim Escort. Imperial intelligence spies carrying vital information on Republic plans are attempting to escape enemy territory in a stolen shuttle. Republic forces are in pursuit, however and have trapped the shuttle in a tractor beam. Reinforcements are needed to defend the shuttle and ensure the stolen data arrives intact. So our primary ob objective is to protect and escort this shuttle. There are a series of bonus missions, some of which are even hidden until you start working on their objectives. While firing your blasters, That's our mark. your shields regenerate nice a hell of a lot slower. Obviously we have our shields here, we have our hull strength. We have our missiles down there in the bottom right. have a bonus to deal with 25 of the Republic's Talon fighters. Oh, There's also a bonus to deal with 20 frigate turrets. Your missiles can lock on, but you can only lock four targets at once. Coming fire, a lot of it. Got it. What you'll also notice is the frigate can have shield generators, as can the other enemy capital ships. Your blaster cannons cannot disable the shields like this one here. And you might need to use a missile or two. That's how it's 
done. All the bonus missions. I believe there's a hidden bonus mission to deal with the capital ship's bridge. But I don't think that will be possible. We would have to have the proton torpedoes all be able to fire a hell of a lot of missiles at the bridge. to watch out for space debris and other objects in space. You could accidentally uh, cripple your ship by flying into another object. We're home free. And that's our first mission complete. We actually gained a title there. So, due to our level, we actually have a fair few space combat missions available to us. I'm just gonna grab a few of these. see kind of their their level. This is our level 28. Base mission. Level 24. Level 16. Okay. Okay. The Cartel Listening Station. The Cartel has allowed the Republic to set up a hidden space station in hot space to intercept dispatches from nearby Imperial operations. All available ships have been dispatched to destroy the station, but additional forces will be necessary to breach the Republic defenses. So, we need to save our missiles for station turrets, field generators, hangars, and antennae. It's recommending we... doesn't... it's not recommending that we have any ship upgrades for this mission. Of course, having them will make our job a hell of a lot easier. You're getting good at this. Bonuses to deal with the station's defense satellites, frigate turrets, and 60 Republic Talon fighters. There is also a hidden mission to disable the station's communications array. Never stood a chance. But again, that would require us to have a proton torpedo or be able to fire quite a few missiles. That was one of the defense satellites there. Time to heat things up. already taken out the antennae and shield generators. Nice 
shot. The communication array is here. At the very bottom of the station. Another. It is our primary objective complete. Now the higher difficulty missions we could still be fighting say these red talon fighters but the enemies will have upgrades as well their shields will be able to absorb more blows. There's the bonus, the hidden bonus mission complete. Now we're just looking for this final defense satellite. Burn, sucker! complete. And we are earning a very small amount of fleet commendations. Why don't we do one more? We'll save the others for later. I think this was the... that's 28. Was the other 24? Yeah, okay. This one's recommending grade 1 upgrades or higher. A Republic fighter wing has established a position over the Imperial-aligned agricultural planet of Nez Peron. Reinforcements are needed to eliminate the Republic vessel so Nez Peron's resources can be secured. 
for the Empire. And our primary target are simply these Talon fighters. Ah, Asteroid Field. mission to hit a turret. Didn't even see that. So we took out our primary goal of sixty talent fighters. But we do have a bonus to deal with another forty. Hit the bridge, unfortunately. Or hit it hard enough, I should say. And our mission is complete. Excellent. Tell you what, so we'll take a break here. When we come back, of course, we will be on our way to the Smuggler's Moon of Narshadar to continue with the Great Hunt 
and Act 1 of the Bounty Hunter storyline. Thank you all for joining me with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, no take care. Bye bye now.